my jeweler. I was buying some jewelry from a guy named Chris the Jeweler. And so we went to Mississippi to take him on a media run to the radio station. I stopped and bought a chain while I was there. He said, bro, I don't pretty do some shit like this with baby. I said, you got a line on him? He said, yeah, I can call him up. So he hit Stunner right there. Mm-hmm. And he said, man, this guy here moving like you, bro. You know what I'm saying? And he said, yeah. He said, yeah, I heard about him. He was in Universal a couple weeks ago. So, boom, I knew, you know what I'm saying? Right. That People word, talking. They talking. You in know the know right circles. Saying? Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Around me. And so I was, I was on the phone with one of my pastors uh, on the Bluetooth. And uh, somebody kicked my door in while I'm on the phone what? with the pastor. Wow. And he was praying yes. with me. And so he heard he heard them, you know, running through the house and asking me where my money at and all that. And he mm-hmm. actually called 911. But, you know, by the time they got there, I already got shot. Wow. And, and, and so, crazy. yeah, so, so you, you, what, what made them come in your house? Was it just random, you know? Uh-huh. Cause they came in the Bun B house a few years back. Yeah. What made them come into your house? It's something you, what you was flossing, you rolling them on them big bar cars or something. You uh-huh. got to tell me the truth. I want to know how come they came in your house. It's a lot of houses in the neighborhood. Yeah. Um, you know, my problem, I ain't gonna say it was a problem. I think that's every man. Uh, I had a love for the women. Okay. And so, uh, Come to my house. I had a jewelry box about fifteen Rolexes and yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah. come on. Yeah. yeah, I had the money counter sitting on the dresser. Yeah, you know, uh, I seen her. At, she worked at Lowe's, and I came in and spent twenty thousand dollars just on some flows. Uh huh. Mm. And so she set you up. She, I ain't. I can't even say she set me up, but like a week after that. When I let her came by the house, we got like a few days after that. Well, love is blind, my brother. I ain't gonna play. You, know what I'm saying? you, you say you ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna let make you say it. You know, y'all still together? No. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. When I was down there, I'm the youngest. Of seven, okay, of seventeen. Oh, wow. Yeah, Papa Rolla. That boy say seventeen. How many boys? How many? Seven, hold boy, on, you said seventeen or seventeen? Seventeen. Ooh, I didn't hear the teen part. Sisters. That nigga say seventeen. Yeah. Young nigga got. And you. you are the youngest. I'm the baby. Wow. Wow. How old is the oldest? Oof. He up there. He probably like 42. Damn, no, nigga. No, hey, 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 hey. Don't make it sound like that. No, no, no. We dead. This is strange. That nigga ain't like, we dead. He way up there. Nah, I'm dead. 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 i Acapello. <clears throat> trying to think. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Go on, give it to him, man. Let him know what he's hitting for. All right, this is what came to my head. She said, baby, I'm afraid to fall in love. Because what if it's not reciprocated? I don't know. Sound like that. Sound All like right, that, yeah. man. You can't just tease me like yeah, that, okay? <laughs> my jeweler. I was buying some jewelry from a guy named Chris the Jeweler. And so we went to Mississippi to take him on a media run to the radio station. I stopped and bought a chain while I was there. He said, bro, I don't pretty do some shit like this with baby. I said, you got a line on him? He said, yeah, I can call him up. So he hit Stunner right there. Mm-hmm. And he said, man, this guy here moving like you, bro. You know what I'm saying? And he said, yeah. He said, yeah, I heard about him. He was in Universal a couple weeks ago. So boom, I knew, you know what I'm saying? Right. That, People word, talking. They talking. In know? the right circles. Yeah. And so uh, he said, man, come out there. He said, man, you know, I like that little kid or uh, young guy. In the time, they ain't even know nothing about Tohi. Mm. They ain't know nothing about GSO Fat. They know nothing about nothing. And you already had all of them at the same time. Oh. Okay. And so I went up there based off the deal for young Al. And so I brought GSO Fat. Tohi didn't even come with me at this time. So I brought GSO Fat and Al to Miami. And then... Uh, we went to like this bed, no, one of these, I forgot one of them hotels, but one of the more five star hotels. Man. And before I knew, I seen like four Range Rovers pull up, Maybachs, and all types of stuff just pulled up. I'm like, man, I don't know what, the, who is this here pulling up? But they come in like the King president. Joffrey Jofa. <laughs> you know was saying? in Queens? Why would you? <laughs> Miami. <laughs> Miami. He was in Miami. Yeah. And, uh, so they sent this other like, a Arab guy come out talk to me and say Slim finna come out and talk to you and this and this and that and then, uh, so when Slim got out he just came to me and said man I like you he just got the car came straight up to me said I like you he did his research on you already and, and then he was like he said man I, my hair stand up on me when I get next to you he said you got a, you got a holy side to you 
Yeah, that's what he told me. I'm like, I'm looking at him like, I don't really know nothing about him, but he was hitting me on the money. He said, You got a good heart. He said, Where the art is it? I said, Hey, yo, stay. So I called him to come down, and he know Fat was like 18 at the time. So he come out bad, smoking. Oh my God. He, he embarrassed me. You know what I'm <laughs> so he walked, straight, he walked straight up to him and just, uh, Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.